probably be easy when you can just die. I'm Chewy Mew, welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video, where today we are going to be taking a look at a figure that I got from a lot on eBay, and that figure is the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Series 5, I think, uh, Mr. Fantastic, aka Reed Richards, with some really cool accessories that I just hit myself in the forehead with. He also comes with this cool little Fantastic car looking thingy, I don't know if he can stand on it, but I think he can sit down on it. Take a look at the head sculpt right there. I think it's a pretty good looking head sculpt. This one looks really, looks has very much kind of serious, determined looking face there. A little bit of paint chip on the nose. The kind of nose there, you can see the cheeks are sticking out, but also his, um, like the, his cheekbones are sticking out, but you can also see like his, uh, like his, the skin cheeks, they're kind of a little bit inwards. And like kind of like a toned jaw kind of thing. You can see the eyes there. Very, I think it's very well painted. He doesn't look derpy or cross-eyed or anything. I think it's just a very, very good head sculpt painted the eyebrows. You can see quite a lot of detail there in the eye, and the camera doesn't do it justice, but this figure does look really good. It does look really good in real life. It's not going to focus anymore, that's fine. Um, sculpted on the ears here. I really like uh, this design for Mr. Fantastic, where he looks a little bit kind of older. It doesn't look like, you know, you're more, uh, like, youngish kind of 20s. It looks more like, uh, like, maybe, like, 30s. Like, I don't know how old he is in the comic books, or in general, but... This one looks like an older kind of Reed Richards, like a more like, uh, you know, um, I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, like, uh, like early Peter Parker looks much like a kid, but then as he gets older, like current Peter Parker looks like, he looks like a full grown man compared to when he started off, he looked like a kid. Like Reed Richards looked like he's, like he's been Mr. Fantastic for, uh, like maybe a 10 years or something. Like he looks like he's been around for a while, you know, being the fantastic man or Mr. Fantastic. Um, the head there too. I think this is really, really good painted the way it looks like the, you know, like with gray hair, it doesn't just look like, boom, here's gray, and then here's your other color. It looks very much like, uh, like blended together, where it's pretty subtle, where it just looks like you have your regular uh, brown hair, like he has, and then it gets it gets whiter the further you go down. Um, my one issue with the figure, and it's kind of with uh, figures in general sometimes, is that uh, the costume, like, this is how his costume looks. It's very simplistic, nothing against the costume, that's, just, that's how it looks, but... For me, it looks, um, the figure, they could have done more. Maybe make it, like, his belt raised or make the boots a little bit different. But his costume is all pretty much very uniform like this. But, and, and to me, that, to me, that, that's always been, like, kind of an issue that I'd rather, I feel like the articulation and his, uh, his accessories kind of more than make up for, like, pretty simplistic, uh, body style. But that's not to say this doesn't have great paint apps. Like, the four is painted really nice there. The body... The base, it, the base color is like this kind of a light uh, bluish kind of color, like a little bit lighter than primary blue, I would say. But then it has this darker blue kind of wash, like on the muscles, the legs, on the arms here. Pretty much most of the spot, most of the spots where he has muscles, there's um, there's like blue wash in here. There's like a ton on the back there, on the arms, on here. The gloves and the boots don't have them because you know they're they're a much darker color. The white, st the white stands out pretty good. Sometimes when they paint, um white over top of like uh like a dark plastic sometimes it kind of fades it doesn't look a little doesn't look as uh doesn't look as good but this one it looks really really nice like if they were to paint like on venom never mind like i was gonna say that on some figures the paint looks kind of weird but never mind on all the venoms i have the, the white paint looks perfect on top of the black but i feel like sometimes you might get some white that looks a little bit like the the black is a little bit kind of coming through a little bit I thought the, these were black, but they actually are just um, just very dark blue, which I think that, that looks really good there, too. Like, if you buy Spider-Man Wave uh, 2000, or if you buy Spider-Man Classic Series 7, you're probably going to have this figure in there. But I, I, they reused the body, they really re they re-released the figure, which I think that's pretty nice, because that means there's multiple of these figures out there in the wild. Um, and it reuses his body, which I feel like this body works really good for Mr. Fantastic, you know, because he's like a stretchy dude, he's supposed to be very flexible, very bendable. To me, he's the kind of character that you can have his joints bend in all sorts of uh, crazy, awkward positions because, you know, he, he can bend his body, whatever. His body is a rubber band, you know, which um, to me, that, that very athletic kind of flexible body, like the one for Spider-Man works really good here. They stand at the same height because it's, you know, the same body. Spider-Man looks a little bit taller only because I think his head's maybe a little bit bigger there. These fingers, all the stuff it has, butterfly joints, this is what you come to expect with a Toy Biz figure. Um... And let's talk about his accessories, which the accessories is what make me love this figure uh, like crazy. You can pop these off here. Um, I don't know if I did it in the original unboxing video for this guy, but I did sand down these pins here because the pins on his arms, the pins on his arms here, they were, they were so tight. They were, um, the pins, they were a little bit way too thick that when you tried taking these hands off, 
it would be impossible to pull them off. It would just, it felt like I was going to break them, so I was, it was like walking on eggshells. So I sanded them down. I just got some, some good old-fashioned sandpaper and just kind of went pew, pew, pew. Um, these hands, he does have these uh, elastic hands. They're not stretchy, but they are very bendable wire material. Let's take a look at this one first here. Um, this is a very, very big hand. It stands nearly as tall as him. The hand is significantly bigger than a regular figure hand. Um, let's take it on here. It is a little bit heavy, so it does kind of pull his arm down a bit. But if, if you have him, like, reaching for something, he his arm will fall down. But what you can do is you can turn the butterfly joint like this. Now, it, it's it, it's it's a little bit way too heavy for the arm. It all sorts of bendy wire places in this position here. Unfortunately, there's nothing in his thumb, though. You can move the fingers. You can basically bend it um anywhere in the hand, but I feel like it bends the best when you bend it at the... Uh, you bend it like the little grooves right here, the little grooves on the hand. You can bend it here, 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 and here. You do have to give it a little bit of force. It doesn't give that easy, but... You have to give it a little bit of a little bit of force there. You can bend. You can bend on all of the all of the, basically all the joints on your finger. You can bend it at. You can do the web shooting hand, but unfortunately, no webs come out. Why is this happening to me? But yeah, this is this is a really really cool accessory. I think I like this one more than the other hand, but the other one is also pretty cool. It's this mallet. Uh, this this here is not any. Uh, it's just a hollow plastic, like you can hear. It's hollow plastic. So, um, it's because if this was a big, thick, solid piece of plastic, this would be a lot heavier. But they made it this light plastic, which it doesn't pull down his arm nearly as much as the other one. It, it doesn't, it doesn't sag down that much. And, uh, that one, I think that's kind of better because it also has less plastic. Comparing the two arms together, the actual length of the, pretty much up until the wrist, is basically the same length. I mean, technically not. But you still do get the bendy wire here, and it also does rotate here as well. Which, at first when I moved it, I thought I broke it, but it turns out actually, no, he does rotate here, for real. That's actually an actual, that's an actual, um, point of articulation there. So, you can put it on here, and you could rotate this piece here, but you can also rotate this too. So, um, you can have him, you can have him in a variety of different, you can, like, without rotating this, you can move this, so that's pretty cool. You hit Johnny here. You're not gonna, you won't break, you're not gonna break your figure if you hit it. Because I think this is probably what they intended you to do with this thing. To just like take your stuff and just go. Hitting some paint that's off screen right there. And hitting the display stand here. Uh, the only issue with these hands is they do make him a little bit top heavy. But if you have him on a, yeah, he, he, he can't, he can't hold up the weight of these guys. I know Hasbro did make one, I think it was the Ares wave where... Um, you buy Mr. Fantastic, he's like, he's like crazy tall, he's like 10 inches tall or something like that, and he's completely filled with bendy wire. I think all he has is like an ab crunch and a ball joint head, but the rest of him is all bendy wire, which I think that's really cool. I really like that one too, and the seller who was selling these, they also were, they were selling the entire, um, I think it was the Ares Wave Fantastic Four, but those ones, to me, they kind of sucked, because, uh, all the figures have like, like, that's the only elbow joint. They only can do that, and they can only do this, and the legs pretty much only do like that. And the head is like a ball joint, and the ab crunch is kind of bad. So that one was a lot cheaper. That one ended at like I think like fifteen dollars. But you got, you got, uh, you got all Fantastic Four members, the four of them. The only issue is that I think those figures kind of suck. Like the Human Torch. Also, he had like it looked like he had weird Super Saiyan hair, and he was like half on fire. But either way, let's take a look at his articulation here. The head looks up all the way. It looks down all the way. It rotates all the way around. Has a very good ab crunch. The legs kick up all the way. They kind of, they don't really go back much. You can do the splits. Rotation here in the upper leg. Double bend in the knee. A boot cut. Ankle rocker. The foot goes forward, goes back. The toe bends up. And it bends down. He can make a fist in his hand. He doesn't have individual fingers, but he does have a fist hand. So you can have open hand. You can have a fist. And the fist hand, it does work actually really good. And you can have the open hand too. Rotation here in his glove. Double bend in the elbow, rotation here in the upper arm. The arm goes all the way around, goes all the way up, and you have a double, or no, you have a butterfly joint. That's a, I think that's that's one of the best butterfly joints there is. Look how good this moves. That's very, very good. Um, and like, yeah, the head is a very good a disc hinge there. Um, and the, the hands, like I showed, the hands have also a lot of bendy wire, and this one has a rotation here in the wrist too, so. But yeah, so I think this figure is just really, really good. I think it's a very, uh, very awesome, very much toyetic thing that I feel like Hasbro wouldn't do. Also, I do know Hasbro had made some other figures where they give him, um, 
He does have a lab coat where he can actually take his arm. You can actually swap the arms and give him a lab coat. Um, I think that's pretty cool as well. And they also have one where he has like just stretchy fingers, which I think that looks, I think that looks kind of uh, kind of stupid, honestly. Lab coat or his trench coat here, and see if it fits, uh, Mr. Reed here. Fits. There we go. But yeah, you can uh, you can put that on there. He does look. Um, it, it doesn't work the same because it's not white. Like he wears a white lab coat. This is more like a like a trench coat. Well, it is a trench coat, but you can put that on there like this. And um, yeah, that I mean, you can kind of do that. It looks a little bit kind of creepy for him, but yeah, you you can put it you can put it on. But either way, that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next review. Wow.